Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going through Nephilim's full quest line through the 1.3 patch. So this will get you as far as you can go currently, unless they decide to expand the storyline down the road at some point. But this is where you'll finish up when you complete the quest. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing in super minute detail, but I will cover all of the main points that should get you here. There's quite a few storylines that are intertwined to get here. Um, and I would say there's probably five main NPCs that are involved with this. So you have Nephili, obviously, uh, the Fort Hate or Fort Height uh, quest line with Kenneth Height, uh, the Gatekeeper, uh, Celibus, as well as Gideon in Round Tables Hold. So I'll try and organize this as best I can, going through each storyline and what you need to do, and then um, that'll all come together to get to this point. Starting off, we'll look at Kenneth Height's storyline, and then we'll move on to the other aspects as well. Starting off with the Fort Height and Kenneth Height quest line, this is where you can start that quest on the map. If we look at that, this is where it's located. So if you have this side of Grace, it's pretty close, this Misswood outskirts. You can run down to this structure. He's going to be at the top, so you want to climb up here and talk to him. Basically, he's going to ask you to win his castle back. Uh, so once you get done with that dialogue, you're going to want to make your way south to Fort Height. Uh, if you have this side of grace, you can travel there. Once at the fort, you're going to want to make your way up to the top, and there will be a small boss fight that you need to complete. Uh, after you've done that, you're going to want to go back to where he was originally. So you'll come back up here and talk to him again, and then he's going to say thank you, etc., and then you get a weapon as a reward. Continue talking to him because there's still more dialogue. He'll ask you to join him, accept that offer, and then he'll say to meet him back at Fort Height. So you can complete that dialogue and then travel back to Fort Height to talk to him there. Back at Fort Height, you're going to want to again make your way up to this area. Uh, he'll be standing here. Uh, you'll have some more dialogue that you'll need to go through. And then once you complete that, that should be the last thing you need to do for the Fort Height questline for this. The next two NPCs that we're going to talk about that are involved with this whole line are Celibus and Gideon. So this will involve you talking to Celibus where he gives you a poison potion that he wants you to give to Nephili. Uh, and you can start this in Ronnie's Rise, which is located here. Uh, that's where we're at on the map. So um, you can see the tower up there for Ronnie. So you'll need to go up there and talk to Ronnie and go through a whole dialogue thing. Once you do that, you can come down to here and talk to Celibus. And that's where you'll get the potion, uh, asking you to give that to Nephili to poison her. The next step for this will then be going to Round Table's Hold and talking to Gideon. Uh, you can actually offer the poison to Nephili. She will decline it and say she doesn't want it. Um, but what you'll want to do is talk to uh, Gideon and there'll be an option for you to essentially hand over the poison to him and that will complete that portion of this section. All right, so now moving on to the bulk of this quest line, which is everything involving Nephili herself. So this all really starts when you are at the point in the game where you fight Godric the Grafted, and this will present the first time you can talk to Nephili. So right now we are kind of right in front of the area where you actually fight Godric. Um, so his arena is right up those stairs. If you turn around, um, there's this room, and this presents the first opportunity that you can talk to Nephili. Um, I didn't actually talk to her uh, on my playthrough, but she will show up uh, after you defeat Godric the Grafted in Round Table's Hold. So I don't think this is actually necessary to do, uh, but this is the first place that you can actually talk to her. So once you defeat Godric, she will appear back at Round Table Hold in this area. Uh, you can talk to her, but at this point there's not really much that you can do with her. Uh, once you get the potion from Celibus, you can, as I mentioned, uh, offer it to her and she'll decline it, or you can give the potion to Gideon. And then at that point, she will leave Round Table Hold and we'll have to go to the next location to talk to her there. Where she moves to after that is the uh, village of the Albinorix, which is located here. So it's basically directly south of the Rea Lucaria area down at the bottom portion of this map. Um, if you come at it from this angle, you'll run in here and eventually find this uh, hill that will lead up to that area. So if we take this up, uh, Nefeli is going to be located right under this bridge that we're running towards. So we can talk to her there. And well, again, you have to go through some dialogue. Uh, after you talk to her, that'll lead to the next thing that we need to do, which is run through this village. So we'll want to go up 
here and cross the bridge. And that will take you to this area where, again, you'll have another boss fight that you'll have to do real quick. Once you've completed that area, Nephli is going to relocate back to Round Table Hold. So uh, she's now moved downstairs into this location. So we can run down here and talk to her. She'll be sitting right here. Um, however, we're not going to be able to progress any further until we get the Stormhawk King Ashes, which we need to offer to her. Where we find this item is located in the Four Belfries area. So on our map, this is where we're at. Um, again, for sort of frame of reference, this is Rey Lucaria here. Uh, it's going to be located up to the left here. So you're going to want to make your way up, if you haven't done this yet, to the top where you'll find this chest. And this is where you'll get an imbued sword key, uh, which we'll need to use here shortly. So we'll make our way back down after we get that to this teleporter here. And that sword is what will activate the teleporter. So we can put that in here. And this is going to take us to the Chapel of Anticipation. So this uh, will be kind of familiar to you once you get in here. This is the area that you start the game at. Uh, so now we're back at the very beginning. Uh, this will be a boss wall, and you can fight that first boss again at the very beginning of the game in this area. Uh, this is where you fall down into the pit. So we'll need to make our way back up to the very beginning where we spawn at. Once we make it to the top, this area to the right, I believe at the beginning of the game is a locked door, but it's open now. So we can run through here, and this is the area where we will find the Stormhawk King Ashes that we can give Nephili. Back at Round Table Hold, we can go downstairs and talk to Nephili again. And at this point, uh, we can give her the Stormhawk King Ashes. And basically, that's the last big thing that we need to do for her and uh, for this quest line. So now, kind of the last final piece of this whole puzzle is to go to the Godric the Grafted Site of Grace site. So we're in that arena where we fought Godric. And you should see the gatekeeper here uh, kicking the remains of Godric here. Uh, you can talk to him real quick. He'll have a little bit of dialogue. And if you've completed all of the necessary quest lines involving all the NPCs we've talked about, you can rest at the Site of Grace to reset everything. He should disappear. And then you'll want to run up into the throne room where you will see Nephili, Kennethite, and also the gatekeeper uh, there as well. To claim your reward for all of this then you can talk to Nephili and she will give you an ancient dragon smithing stone uh, and then also this will open up the store for the gatekeeper ah, again, where you can also buy a second ancient dragon smithing stone. Uh, so that's available for 20,000 runes, and you can get that as well. And then he also has a couple it other items that you can buy from him too. So there you have it. That is the full Nephili quest line uh, through the 1.3 patch that came out. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you later. Bye.